Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Scorpio for the month of December. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Also, I'm reading for December, but you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video. Okay, going to the heart of the reading. Your first card out at the heart of the reading is the Six of Pentacles. It's been clarified with the Five of Swords reversed and the Knight of Wisdom in reverse. So something ended badly here and uh, somebody may not have been giving to the uh, relationship um, or a plan may have fell through. It was maybe Maybe you overlooked something. Um, maybe something you thought you could rely on, you discovered you couldn't and you ended up feeling betrayed by that person. It feels like you had a plan, but things didn't go as planned. Um, it took a turn for the worse. Somebody was not willing to give to the plan or give to the to the situation. And at the moment that this ended, and it would have ended on a bad note, possibly uh, somebody blew. Um, it would have felt uh, like. You're, it's like the whole world just stopped. It's like everything just stopped in that moment. It ended and there was loss. Now, so it's like hitting rock bottom with regards to a situation. It feels like... Um, you you have the wheel of fortune reversed and then you have a wheel of fortune that is it's not moving it's stuck but it's like you have the opportunity to get it moving again um, but perhaps you're not making the effort to get it moving again, um, maybe you uh, are missing information or you're not looking in the right places for your information. Maybe you've overlooked something or you're, you are overlooking something. There is something here, uh, a decision that needs to be made to take action on something. Somebody, yeah, see, Seven of Swords. So somebody uh, escaped a situation that was deceptive or felt deceptive. Or they themselves were deceiving. Somebody left and moved, took a new direction. And... Um, it looks like there's no talking. But, uh, so there's silence. It ended, somebody left, took a new direction, and there's silence. Um, but there's something about this ending that doesn't feel right. Something has been overlooked. Something is not being seen. And it could be that somebody's just not looking in the right places for their information. And because they don't have the information, they're not taking action, wherein they would need to take action to get the wheel moving again. It feels like the connection is still uh, is still felt 
so because I feel like um, somebody still uh, wants to drink from the cup, but uh, it's like in order to uh, in order to do something or get something, one must step outside of their comfort zone, and that is what's difficult. They may have to. Uh, this could be about the ego. So maybe somebody believes they're right, or maybe they've been, uh, or they're they they have. Uh, how would I say that? This is somebody in the Five of Swords energy. Somebody who's who's you know uh, doesn't is unwilling to see the other person's side or their view because they believe they're right. So it could be even if they now see that they were wrong, they would be unwilling to admit to it because of their pride. But they still want the cup. So somebody may have to uh, step outside of their comfort zone and do something that that they they uh, I mean they want the cup but they don't want to do the action that would require a lot of them they have to step outside of their comfort zone uh, in order to get it yeah so it's like they wear that pride like a shield So an ending happened, but things are not as they appear. Um, and somebody is assessing whether or not to put that energy uh, towards uh, changing something here or making the change. So maybe they do actually, they have the power. Yeah, the magician's there. So they have the power to make the change, but they're not making it. That's what it is because of their pride. But it doesn't feel like it's over because the world is in the reverse. Um, the Ten of Cups and the Six of Swords, like the potential is here um, to reconnect it's that's why this card's in the upright and they're not happy they're, they're not happy where they are all they have to do is admit they were wrong but that's proving very difficult for them in this connection you see they turned their back to it they're not happy uh with something they i feel that they're not happy with with something they might have to do but ultimately in the end they are going to do it because I see it here because that person represents their ten of cups moving this situation from a, a negative place to a positive place um, going another round, seeking somebody's understanding, somebody's forgiveness, reaching for the opportunity, um, something, something of value, extending the hand and the other person picks it up. So we have communication. Um, we have a solid offer here in the future with that ace. Temptation to reach out because it's what they really desire, you see. But they got to take the leap of faith. They got to do it. The opportunity is here. The wheel is waiting. It's offering them the chance to do it. But they struggle with it, you know. And this, I feel... Uh, look at this. 
Here we have the Empress, the Nine of Wands, and the Emperor, and the Hermit is here also. The Strength, oh, look at that. So uh, this is a twin flame relationship. It's probably been very, very rocky. Um, and so we have this Nine of Wands in between them. And, and so... Um, Um, <clears throat> the eight wands that are behind him here, they represent the past activity that's led up to the present moment that he's sitting in. And the, the wand he's holding represents the current activity. Um, the, white, <laughs> the white beard that he has here, you see that? The white beard shows his age or how old he feels because of it, right? Because of all of these things that have been going on. So he might be very tired and weary, okay? Um, but uh, he wants to keep going. He's not ready to give up. He is not ready to, to give up. He's come this far and he's going to see it through. And that's, that is the decision he's going to make and it may have taken him time to make this because he was in the hermit uh, stage and he's been there for some time most likely trying to build the strength or the courage to move forward to uh, you know get clarity or give clarity or offer clarity Or, you know, seek clarity, whatever this was, however this works out for you. This person, this is your twin flame. This has been very rocky, um, but they're not ready to, they're, they're not going to give up on this relationship. They're not ready to give up. Um, they are going to decide. It's what the wheel has been waiting for. Um... What we have here is the high priestess. So they've been keeping silent. Okay, but that's about to change. Now, this card says, pay attention to dreams and uh, keep track of uh, your intuitive hunches. Uh, you'll need to look at those later for the thread of truth. Um... Be discerning in all that you do at this time because all is not as it seems. And that's what we had up, up here. With regards to somebody who it might seem like they don't care or, or that it's over, it's finished, um, all is not as it seems. All is not as it seems. And somebody's intuition is telling them it's not over. That gut feeling, it's not over. You know, the novice. So this card is reminding you uh, to be teachable and to be humble. If you don't know something, don't pretend that you do. Chances are that you're going to make an error that may cost you more than you wish to pay. Now, that could have happened back here in that Five of Swords energy, which is at the heart of the issue, but it's in the reverse. So something that somebody did that is haunting them now, following them. Something that, you know, that um, maybe cost them more than than they wish to pay and now they're trying to figure out um, how to get it back but they have to do something that they're not particularly fond of doing uh, to to get it back you know and so um, new information is coming and this is a, a time to be open to learning and expanding it is a time of growth and the novice reminds you that you need to stop and ask yourself, what lesson must I learn here? And understand that the lesson is always mirrored in the experience in front of you. 
Dig deep into the workings of whatever situation you're facing. You won't have to look far for the answer because it's going to be right in front of you. Patience and slow movement is required when this card appears. So, the lesson must be found. The lesson must be found, and that's what the wheel is waiting for. You see? New information. The novice says that new information is coming. Okay? Well, on the wheel, we have the sun. It, it, it's also saying that new information is coming that will allow one to decide. That will allow one to decide to get this mo wheel moving again. And um, so that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.